Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Here's a quick tutorial on how to use AirDrop on your iPad. Fantastic new feature that lets me share documents with my students, particularly good with one-to-one uh, -one and iPad um, setups in school. So what I'm gonna do is on my left here, this is my iPad. So I'm gonna go to AirDrop and I'm gonna turn on everyone. Now that automatically opens, um, actually turns on the Bluetooth, you'll see there, and then I will turn it down. Then I'll make sure that my students um, iPad here, AirDrop is once again turned on for everyone to be discoverable. It turns on Bluetooth automatically. Now all I'm gonna do on my iPad is I'm gonna open up Book Creator and you can see here I've got a little um, uh, Book Creator uh, book that I wanna share with my student. And so what I'm gonna do is down the bottom, I'm gonna press um, the open in another app option. And what that actually does then is um, opens up uh, what would I like to open it in? Well, I'm going to wait for AirDrop to actually locate uh, the student um, the student device. Um, so what I'm going to do there is you can see there that it's just popped up the Primary Lab 28 one. I'm going to press that once. And you can see on the student iPad it says, oh, someone's trying to send you a uh, book creator file, an EPUB. Would you like to accept? Press accept. What would I like to open it in? Well, the students are actually gonna do some editing and some work in this. So it's gonna be in Book Creator. And there it is there. It's opened up straight away, ready for me to actually click in, uh, go to the pages and actually edit um, and actually create some content. So there's just a really, really easy way for um, not only teachers to share their books and uh, other, other applications and other documents with their students, but also the students to actually share it with their teachers in regard to uh, marking and actually correcting uh, digital work. So really fantastic new feature. Uh, Paul Hamilton here, signing.